Hello everyone, in this video I'll be comparing two entry-level Wi-Fi 6 routers. On my left here I have the ZTE AX3000 Pro Miracle Router. Yes, you heard me right, they call it Miracle. And this one here is the Tenda RX9 Pro AX3000 Wi-Fi 6 router also. I chose to compare these two routers because they have almost the same specifications and features and their price is affordable. In my video, I'll be covering the following topics. First, I'm going to talk about the specifications and features of these routers and tell you what is different between the one and the other. And also, I'm going to talk about the connections very quickly. And then I'm going to perform a speed test. The speed test will include a LAN speed test and it will also include an internet speed test when the internet is loaded and when the internet is not loaded. And I'm going to also perform a range test. And at the end, I'm going to give you my opinion on what router you should choose depending on what you need. So first, let me talk about the specifications of these routers. So these are Wi-Fi 6 AX3000 routers, which means that they have an aggregate speed of 3 gigabits per second. Also, on the specifications aspect, both routers have a dual-core processor. Now, feature-wise, both routers have OFDMA, Mu MIMO, they also have WPA3 security, and they cover the 160 megahertz band and both routers have like basic security now what is different between the two routers is parental controls and the vpn the tender router has basic parental controls whereas the zte router doesn't have any parental controls at all now what is different also is the vpn so the tender doesn't have nor vpn server and also it doesn't have a vpn client the zte router doesn't have a VPN server, but it has a VPN client that covers PPTP and L2TP and it doesn't have an OpenVPN client. Also, the ZTE router has mesh capabilities, whereas the Thunder router doesn't have mesh capabilities. So now let me zoom in to show you the connections on these routers. Now you notice on the back of the routers, they have four Ethernet ports. And in both routers, the Ethernet ports are gigabit port. Now, what differentiates the ZTE from the Tenda is that the ZTE can aggregate two WAN ports together. So you can connect two different internet connections from two different ISPs and you can aggregate the speed and also you can make it resilient. So this is a plus point in my opinion for the ZTE. Now what the Tenda has and the ZTE doesn't have is that they have a dedicated IPTV port. So this one here, if you connect your TV to it or any streaming device, you can get priority so that you don't get stuttering on your streaming device. Now, unfortunately, both routers don't have a power on off button. And most importantly, both routers don't have USB ports. And this is a shame in my opinion. So now let's start the speed tests. The first test I'm doing is that I'm copying a large file from a PC on the network to my PC. And both PCs are connected through Wi-Fi 6 to the router. And here the Tender router chokes a little bit and it's providing a throughput of only 38 megabytes per second. Whereas the ZTE is stable and it's providing a throughput of 49 megabytes per second. So in this operation, the ZTE router is a little bit better than the Tender router. The next test I'm performing is the internet speed test. And here I didn't load my internet with any other devices except the PC that I'm performing the test on. I have an internet speed of 120 megabits per second download and 20 megabits per second upload. And I'm getting the full speed here and a little bit more from both routers. So both routers here are performing very well. Now I have loaded my internet connection with two TVs streaming at 4K two iPads also streaming at 4K, and I have also my Amazon Echo playing music. And here, the speed of the internet, of course, will be reduced a little bit. But nevertheless, both routers here are still providing a very good internet speed, and the speed is identical for both routers. So they are both performing very well. What I'm doing here is that I'm performing a range test. I live in an apartment building, and I went out of my apartment into the stairwell. And at the 35 yards mark, the ZTE router cut, but just before it cut, it was providing speeds up until 4.3 megabits per second, whereas the Tender router kept going until the 40 yards mark, and it was providing speeds 
up until 5.4 megabits per second. So here the Tender router has a slight advantage. At the end, let me give you my opinion on what router to choose. Now, both routers offer a solid performance and both routers have their own unique features. Now, if you need the one aggregation and the one resiliency feature, of course, go with the ZTE router. And if you need like the basic parameter controls and the IPTV dedicated port, go with the Tenda router. But at the end of the day, if you don't need these features, go with the cheaper router because both routers offer almost the same performance. By the way, I'm going to leave Amazon affiliate link in the description for both routers. If you make a purchase using my link, I will gain a small percentage at no cost to you. And this will help my channel greatly. I hope that my video will help you in your choice of purchasing a router. If you like this video, please share it. Subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and this will help the channel greatly. And this way, you'll not miss any future videos I make. I'm Eloy. See you in the next video.